Booster shots for all. In just a matter of days, the FDA expected to grant emergency authorization for a third dose for all adults tomorrow. The CDC advisory board could follow suit on Friday. That would mean shots could be in arms by the weekend. We have team coverage tonight following the latest with those booster shots. Our ABC 15 Health Insider joining us to answer your questions. But first, our Adam Waltz live in Tallison with how the state is working to distribute those booster shots and children's vaccines. Adam. Hey, Steve, Katie, you know, I was talking with the Arizona Department of Health today and they wanted to get this point across very clearly that there are plenty of vaccines, whether you need your first dose, your second dose, or if you're looking for a booster shot. But the big difference in how the vaccine is being rolled out now, as opposed to beginning of the rollout, was there are no big state run pods. Instead, they're letting community pop ups like here at Tempe or excuse me, Tolleson Fire Station 161 take the lead and they give the community the boost. After much hesitancy, a stint with COVID and health concerns. I was hesitant about anything um, in my body. Ariel Nakora officially vaccinated with work ultimately pushing her to get the shot. With everything going on and um, work basically mandating it, that's why I went ahead and decided to get it. Today was her first dose of Johnson & Johnson. Maria received her Pfizer booster shot at this pop-up event at Tolleson Fire Station 161. I feel protected and the first two were fine. I didn't have no reactions to any of them. Monday uh, of this week, we did 130. So it's, it's overwhelming for us, but it's very rewarding. The CDC has said that it's okay to mix and match boosters to whatever original vaccine you received. Uh, and it actually might give you a little bit better of an overall immunity because your body's kind of seeing different versions and uh, is able to uh, respond with a, a more robust immune immune system. The state health department using a community approach instead of large state run pods to vaccinate, letting local pharmacies, doctors or even firehouses cover more ground to boost more immune systems. A lot of times we've been to their homes or they've come here for vaccinations or family members or they've seen us on emergencies or on a non emergency basis. So they they clearly feel comfortable coming here. And that was one thing you immediately take away from being here at Tolleson Fire Station uh, 161. It's very comfortable. They know the community, the, the staff here. They're, they're very friendly and they speak Spanish. And they were focused on boost boosters today, but they had every vaccine available. Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, Pfizer. And you could just walk up if you had an appointment. If not, you could just walk up and get it. Um, go to that website, check it out, and you can find a place uh, to get the booster shot really close to, your, to where you live. In Tolleson, Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona. All about making it easy, Adam. Thank you.